Hey everyone, I'm Jesse McCollum, Everlast Brand Ambassador. Today, before we got started, we were kind of playing around on the Facebook group and we saw someone come up with a pretty good question. They have a water-cooled torch, but they don't have a water cooler and they want to know if they can use it to weld. So, let's blow some torches up. Stick around. Okay, so here's our setup. We got the machine set to 50 amps. We're on 4T with the pedal, so I can just hit it and step back. We're gonna have our timer going. We've got our torch blocked up, so it's, everything's gonna be the same. We set our arc gap with some 1 8 plate, so everything's gonna be the same. We're gonna run 50, 150, and 200 amps. We're gonna start with five minutes or until the torch blows. So we've also got a different torch. We're gonna to swap torches between tests. That way, in case the 50 amp test degrades this torch a little bit, it's not gonna smoke itself faster at 150 amps. So each torch will be fresh, so it'll be a nice even test between the amperages. Yeah, one minute, it's still running. Feel on the lines. Doesn't really feel like there's much heat in them. Okay, coming up on two minutes. Checking the lines, everything's still running. Lines are actually starting to get a little bit of heat. They're just barely warm though. Coming up on three minutes at 50 amps. All the lines still feel pretty good. Torch is still running just fine. Coming up on four minutes of runtime at 50 amps. Torch is still running just fine. Power lead feels a little warm, but it's, I wouldn't call it hot. Torch is a little warm, but it's still running fine. All right, we're coming up on five minutes. As soon as we hit the five minute mark, we're gonna shut it off, go through and feel all the lines and see what kind of, kind of temperatures everything's running. And there we go, five minutes. So the head of the torch is pretty hot. You can touch it with your bare hands. But that, yeah, it's pretty hot. So we move down the neck into the handle. The handle's still actually pretty cool. It's just right up here at the, the top of the neck where it's hot. Even feel, unzipping the, uh, the cover, feeling the power line, it's barely warm. Okay, so this 20 series torch lasted for five minutes at 50 amps with no water cooler. So now we're gonna swap out this torch for a new one. We're gonna jump up to 150 amps and try the test all over again. Now we've replaced that torch with a brand new one. We're gonna jump up to 150 amps and run it in for five minutes or until it fails. Three, two, one. All right, we just came over one minute at 150 amps, feeling the torch. The power line is starting to get pretty hot. It's getting ready to go. Nope. Oh, and we've already got smoke at a minute and 23 seconds. The power line is starting to melt down. We're gonna go ahead and shut it off. So we went ahead and turned the, uh, the power off to the torch, but you can see the line continued to melt. It's actually smoking back here in the cover. The, uh, the, whole, the whole thing is super hot. Okay, so there was our 150 amp test on a 20 series water-cooled torch without the cooler. At 150 amps, it lasted about a minute and 20 seconds before you can see the power line started to melt down. The whole torch is super hot. It started to smoke, so we cut it off. We're gonna go ahead and swap this torch out again to a new one. We're gonna jump up to 250 amps. Now this torch, a 20 series, is normally rated for 250 amps when DC when you're running a water cooler. So now, without the water cooler at 250 amps, let's see how long it survives. Three, two, one. All right, here we go, 250 amps. I don't expect this to last very long. I've got my hands on the power lead. It's already getting pretty hot at 13 seconds. 
It's warming up pretty quick. The torch is already getting pretty hot. Here we are coming across 25 seconds. Power lead is getting to where I can't. 30 seconds, I can't hold the power lead anymore. So I expect this thing to go pretty quick. We're already blowing, we're blowing some smoke out at 38 seconds. You cannot touch the rest of the lead. It's starting to smoke. 45 seconds, you can smell the rubber. This torch is getting ready to have a catastrophic failure. 250 amps, 55 seconds. The entire, entire lead is now smoking. We just crossed a minute. We are probably getting ready to start a fire at this point. The entire power lead, all the nylons melted off the power lead. We're at a minute 10. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but there is just nothing but smoke in here. I can't even hardly see the machine anymore. We are at, we've now crossed a minute and 20 and it is still running with no fire, but it is nothing but smoke. The entire power lead has gone up. Woo! <laughs> it actually burned, it did burn through the power lead right here at the Okay guys, you can see we had a pretty catastrophic failure. There was smoke billing out. I couldn't even see to turn the machine off. I mean, this is, this is why you invest in a water cooler. I mean, if you want to you run a small torch, get a water cooler so you can run the high amperage. The torch itself, even, even after a minute, was still pretty, I mean, it was warm, but you could still touch it. And, but you can see here in the liner is where the issue was. It actually burnt through the liner all the way down, all the way up to the, uh, the power lead into the dense connector, it melted the dense connector, but the torch itself wasn't that bad. So that's where you're gonna run into issues that you don't notice immediately. Your torch might not be that hot, but four or five feet away from you in the power lead, that's where you're gonna start having an issue. And you could actually start a fire with this. Okay, so we just got done with all three tests with this water cooled 20 series torch without a cooler. 50, 150, and 250 amps. Now this torch with a water cooler is normally rated at 250 amps at 100% duty cycle on DC. You can see without the cooler, we lasted maybe 20 seconds before it started getting too hot. Catastrophic failure at a minute, and we almost lit ourselves on fire at a minute 20. So even at 50 amps, this torch survived. But surviving doesn't mean it didn't hurt the torch. If you constantly ran your water-cooled torch that hot without the cooler, you're gonna degrade it and you're gonna have problems sooner than you should. So let's always remember, if you have a water-cooled torch, run a water cooler. I'm Jesse McCollum, brand ambassador for Everlast Welders. Follow me on Instagram at mccollum.weldfab. Weld mean, weld green.